the spotlights on the Stadio Olimpico on Sunday night. Raja Nangolan and Luciano Spalletti take on their past as Inter visit Roma. Having played for both sides between 2003 and 2014, Romanian defender Christian Kivu has the lowdown on an intriguing rivalry and what was Serie A's must-see match in the noughties. In the years following Calciopoli in 2006, the rivalry between these two sides grew due to the absence of Juventus and a struggling Milan. Because of that, Roma Inter became a really important fixture here in Italy. And beyond, it was a game that was followed across the world. The rivalry that developed was good for Italian football. It led to both teams developing and becoming stronger. In Milan, he grasped the trophies that had slipped through his fingers in Rome three league titles and a Champions League. But the game that is most vivid in Kivu's memory is a loss to Roma in 2010, the year of the Nerazzurri treble. He had just returned to action after a skull fracture threatened his career and had to play with a protective helmet. I came on in the second half. I remember it well because I had a physical problem that haunted me for almost a year. Basically, Every time I headed the ball, it would paralyze the left side of my body following the contact. The first time it happened was from a Vucinic cross, I think. I headed the ball and lost all feeling on the whole left side of my body, from my head to my foot. It was a temporary paralysis and it terrified me. I walked towards the bench, towards the team doctor who had noticed something was wrong. While the game continued, I was on the phone with the surgeon who calmed me down and told me everything was okay. While at Roma, Kivu played under coach Luciano Spalletti and then team manager Eusebio Di Francesco. Luciano Spalletti taught me to take care of the little details. It is a major part of his approach as a coach. He's a perfectionist and leaves nothing to chance. Eusebio. <laughs> Eusebio Di Francesco has been a big surprise to me. I never expected him to become a coach, only because he didn't want to, not because he wasn't cut out for it. His best trait is the calmness with which he faces every situation and each fresh challenge. Rome and coaching Roma can be grueling, but he has adapted to it really well and has always made the right choices. Today, the 38-year-old Romanian coaches Inter's under-14s, explaining to youngsters how rough the road to glory tends to be. They are young lads who have big dreams. They dream of becoming professional footballers and going far. We need to instill in them the ethos required to reach the top and how to stay at the top to make a career out of it. It's important to work hard, to have the right attitude and you have to be willing to make sacrifices to make it as a professional footballer. You can't achieve that, though, if you aren't willing to put the work in. However hard, it's wonderful too. A boy's own idea of heaven. And the man's idea of heaven, equally hard, to coach in Serie A. My ambition is to be understood by my lads. That's my goal at the moment. The most important thing is to pass on the things you want them to understand. I think I've managed to do that on a small scale, and that gives me hope for the future and progressing to the big stage.